Hi guys, my name is Ann. Thank you for joining me. Wow, okay, so we are on this mass awakening journey. There is just so much going on right now. I wanted to do this very quick video. Things are changing from day to day, from moment to moment. So this moment in time, I'm going to attempt to summarize some of what um, I've been getting in. We are at a very critical point here. This is no joke. So this came to me, this is no joke. This is a very important process. This is a very important time right now. If you're feeling the squeeze, you are not alone. So many of us are. This is this process is a lot and it's challenging and there's a lot coming up to challenge us right now. So please recognize that, that you are part of this and um, you are important to this journey. So try your best to ride through um, any major down waves, uh, reach out for help if you need it. Um, it's a lot. We are at a major juncture, or a squeeze point, uh, I want to call it. We have so much, uh, so many onboarding, uh, coming to terms with the physical aspects of this journey, of the, of the releasing, of the purging. What happens is um, it starts the layers of the density of who we are not. The shadows start to come up and appear. It can feel very daunting and very painful, very uh, worrisome, cause anxiety, uh, fear, and anger is all part of this releasing process, but so, so important. I mean, half the battle is to allow it to come up, to walk through that pain, and then to eventually uh, release it because it's saying this energy is no longer serving you. We are getting help and support in that regard. Um, some of the memories and the timelines are being um, erased. So we are shifting timelines also very quickly. So if there are some things we don't remember, that's why this is so dynamic, guys. Um, so you're gonna get these range of energies happening for transmutation. There are emotional, there are spiritual, there are physical. The, there are all of these energies at play right now, majorly. So yes, it does feel a bit confusing and chaotic. Uh, we also have a ton of inboarding coming on, a lot of new energy. The beautiful frequencies, very, very strong right now, very intense. It is this new way of operating. We start to learn how to best deal with it, to channel that energy into positive pursuits, not the negative spirals. So we have the ability to shift out of that. It's giving us some real insight into things we may not have known or even had the ability to understand before. And this is happening also right across the board. So again, this integration of energy, this transmutation, Holy shit, I mean, this is a friggin' lot, not to mention sort of the physical aspects of what we are processing. Um, and really, on top of that, we have and we know that we're moving into a new way of operating, a new way of being. We're creating, a, a, you know, we are evolving. And this is, this, this takes time, but this is happening so quickly. So we have to recognize that we don't know exactly where we're moving into. We don't know exactly what to expect. We are trusting more and more and more that intuitive knowledge, that feeling energy, the guidance systems that we were born with that have being let go in the transmutation process are now taking the lead role. And this can be pretty cool, but it's also very scary because we have to let go of the need to know and this need to control exactly what happens next. And this is a hard part of the journey, not only and, and primarily because the ego wants so badly to remain in that position of control. It will do just about anything to shift you back into old patterns and thinking. And this is so much a big part of this new process, challenging for all of us. And one of the key ways through that 
is coming back to this position of being and practicing, 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 being in this now moment. There's no future thought. There's no past thought. There is simply appreciating this very important moment right now, recognizing it is the path forward. So that's a, you know, that's a lot to comprehend when our mind is trying to talk us out of it. We have to know deep within our hearts, deep within our souls, that this is the direction that we are meant to take. We are being supported hugely here. We're being guided. We are definitely loved and we are given direction and clues along the way. And this is what we have to do is surrender and trust and then recognize moving out of these old patterns and creating new patterns, the creativity mode of into more of what you want, what you desire to create is a new way of operating and it takes practice. It's a muscle. So there is some self-discipline required here to shut off the rhetoric of the old, to recognize it, yes. But when you feel getting pulled back into that, to shift out of it. And I've talked about this before, but it is really an important muscle to really practice on is building that new network. And once we recognize the power that exists with all of this newfound way of operating from our core being, from our heart space, from our ability to manifest, from that um, perspective, it is uh, mind blowingly powerful. So here we are all moving through different parts of this journey. Lots of moving energies, lots of shifting happening collectively that it is um, just un freaking believable. So that is the best I can do for you today to try and summarize this. But I can tell you just from my perspective, um, yeah, a lot. Um, we are getting time is seems to be uh, collapsing. Definitely timeline shifting happening very, very quickly. And we're being just trying to remain open to um, all of the amazing possibilities that lie ahead for all of us. Collectively here, it is um, truly, truly, truly a um, amazing time to be alive and experience this here. So thanks very much, guys, and we'll definitely talk soon. Bye.